Thorn Ears presents some food. I hope you're in the mood for a little bit of a Saturday night special, baby. All right, I don't know much unless you compare what I know to what everybody else knows. Then I might know a lot. It's all relative. Speaking of relativity, what I know about science is that it's a bunch of theories. Ugh. And theories are cool. They're like ideas. But then you got to have the data to back it up or the people who believe that your data is correct to back it up. I guess the most classic example I could use is when science and religion agreed that the universe and solar system rotated around the earth. And later on, people were like, oh, hey, guess what? We were totally wrong about the most basic thing of life. The earth revolves around the sun. All right, so, although honestly, I, I've never been out, outside of the planet that I know of, so I couldn't tell you either way. All right, so what I'm gonna give you to you is my Thor, Thor News Theory. All right, you ready for it? Cool. Comets are some food, like birds to a jaguar. Some get away, some don't. Cool, man. But then I guess technically, any mass the sun can get its hands on would then be some food. Uh, the sun doesn't have hands, man. I know that. I was just saying it like that to paint a picture in your head. So yeah, that's it. That's that. It's that simple. Comets are sun food. Some get away, some don't. And the sun is getting hungry. Very, very hungry. That would probably explain the Lazarus comets that were discussed a few weeks ago, where thousands of dormant comets in the asteroid belt seem to have suddenly woken up for inexplainable reason. Well, I just explained them in my own terms. Comets are some food. The sun is hungry. That's why we're seeing more sun diving comets lately. That's why I don't have an idea whether or not Comet Ison will or will not make it past the sun. It might, something might just eat it. Comet Ison might be a extra solar system delicacy. I mean, technically overall though, I don't think we fully understand the sun's relationship with comets. I would say it's probably more like a cross between food and sex. But if I went into some whole analogy with like coronal mass ejections and ejaculation, then that would just be too weird, too gross. So I didn't even, I didn't even go over that territory. One thing about theories is they're defined by words. And what most people may or may not know is that every single individual on the planet has their own personal dictionary. You do, I do. Like if you took everybody on the planet and gave them one pen or pencil, depending on their choice, preference, and a piece of paper and gave them three words like love, freedom, and air, and then told them to define those words, everybody would have totally different definitions. You know what I'm saying? And so even though we think of words as like concrete things, they're not. So no, my some food theory is neither correct or incorrect. It's just a theory. Anyway, that's all I have to say about that. This is my two cents on all the sun divers. God bless everybody. Have a great day.